The Domain Manager can be used to add and manage domains in Mdaemon. You can access the Domain Manager via the Setup menu. All of your domains will be listed along the left-hand side. You cannot rename or delete your primary domain on this screen. You'll need to make one of your other domains the primary domain before you can rename or delete your current primary domain. We'll explain how this is done later in this lesson. Let's start by creating a new domain, and then we'll go over all of the settings for each domain. Click on the New Domain button to add a new domain. Then enter your domain name in the blank provided. Click on OK to continue. Your new domain will appear in the list on the left-hand side of the window. Now let's go down the list of options for our new domain. Let's start by clicking on Host Name and IP. The SMTP host name is the fully qualified domain name or FQDN. It is the value that will be used in the SMTP HELO or EHLO instruction when sending mail for this domain. A fully qualified domain name can be used to identify a specific host. In the box below, enter the IP address that will be associated with this domain. In most cases, the loopback address 127.0.0.1 will be sufficient. However, if you'd like to assign a different IP address to this domain, then enter it in the blank provided and check the box shown here. This will bind all inbound connections for the selected domain to this IP address. Beginning with mdaemon 15, both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses are supported. You can use the Detect button to detect all eligible IPv4 and IPv6 addresses and then choose the appropriate IP address from the pop-up window. If you would also like to bind outbound sockets to this IP address, then go to Setup, Server Settings. Click on Binding in the left-hand navigation menu. And then check the box, Enable Outbound IP Binding for Domains Using Inbound IP Binding. You can enter a default IP address for outbound IP binding if the sending domain is not already bound to its own IP. However, since we entered an IP address for the domain that we just added on the Domain Manager screen, we can leave these fields blank. You can also assign a second IP address for inbound socket binding for your default domain. Click on Apply and OK to save any changes made. Now let's go back to the Domain Manager screen and go over the remaining settings for this domain. We'll discuss smart hosts in the next video, which covers configuring mail delivery options. Now let's go over the items under the WCIM menu. WorldClient Instant Messenger is a small application that users can download from within WorldClient that will notify them when new mail arrives and allows users to log directly into their mailboxes using the MDMN webmail interface. WorldClient Instant Messenger support is enabled for each domain by default. You can disable World Client Instant Messenger support by unchecking this box. World Client Instant Messenger can also be used to send instant messages to other World Client Instant Messenger users. Instant messaging is also enabled by default and is controlled by this checkbox. For security and compliance purposes, you may need to maintain a log of all instant messaging activity. You can control this behavior by checking the box Include All IM Messages in Log Files. When this box is checked, all instant messaging traffic will be written to the instant messaging log file located in the mdaemon logs directory. And by enabling the last option, users can include members of other mdaemon domains in their buddy lists. When an appointment is scheduled on a user's world client calendar, the event can be set to send a reminder to the user at a specific time. If instant messaging is enabled for the user's domain, then the reminder will be sent in an instant message if he or she is using world client instant messenger. Use this text box to specify the name that you would like the message to appear to be from. Now we'll look at the calendar options. When the first box is checked, users will be notified of calendar events and tasks via an email message or via an instant message from World Client Instant Messenger. By checking the second box, you can make sure Outlook Connector users also receive these notifications. Some countries observe Monday as the first day of the week. You can specify the first day of the week using the drop-down menu shown here. MDaemon includes a free busy server which makes it possible for a meeting planner to view the availability of potential meeting attendees. Free busy services for each domain are enabled by default. Outlook users can query your free busy data by querying the URL shown here. The world client server and port will need to be customized for your specific domain. So if your domain is example.com, and you are running World Client under the default port, which is port 3000 by default, then your free busy URL will look like this. 
If you like to require a password when this domain's users attempt to access the FreeBSY server features via Outlook, then include the password here. When this feature is used, Outlook users must add the password to the end of the FreeBSY URL, like this. And finally, you can specify how many months worth of FreeBSY data users can query using the remaining option on this screen. Three months of data is the default setting. Now let's look at the World Client Settings menu. This screen allows you to set the default language, theme, and date format that is used when users log into World Client. Remember, these settings are domain specific and only apply to the domain that we are updating. Click on this button to view a list of macros that you can use to further customize the date format. You have several options that you can enable or disable on this screen. Many of them are self-explanatory, but the ones that may require further explanation are the Advanced Compose option and the option to use the HTML editor when composing new messages. When we enable Advanced Compose, World Client users will see several extra options when composing a new message, including a BCC field and the option to mark the message as urgent, request a delivery confirmation, or request a read confirmation. When the last box is checked, World Client users will have an extra set of options in the Message Compose window that they can use to customize the appearance of their email messages. These extra options allow users to format the font, color, and size of the message text, insert bulleted and numbered lists, add hyperlinks and anchors, and much more. The remaining options allow you to customize the number of messages listed per page, the frequency at which the message listing will refresh itself, and the text that appears on the login screen when a user tries to log in using an incorrect username or password. The Signatures menu is where we can enter a domain signature, which will appear at the end of all messages sent by users of this domain. The top window is used to enter a plain text signature, and the bottom window is used when you want to include an HTML signature. Only enter plain text in the top window, and only enter HTML code in the bottom window. And now we'll go over the Settings menu. The following three options are specific to the selected domain. They allow you to delete an account that has been inactive for a specific number of days, delete email messages that are older than a specified number of days, and purge IMAP messages that have been flagged for deletion longer than a specified number of days. If you leave a zero in any of these fields, these messages and accounts will never be deleted due to age or inactivity. Select Purge Old Messages from IMAP folders as well if you like the Delete User Messages Older Than option above to apply to IMAP folders as well. When this option is disabled, messages stored in IMAP folders other than the inbox will not be deleted, regardless of their age. If you would like to impose a size restriction for messages addressed to this domain, then enter it in the blanks provided in kilobytes as shown here. Notice that you can set different size limits for authenticated senders and all other senders. If Security Plus is installed, Check Enable Antivirus Service for this domain if you'd like Security Plus to scan messages for this domain. Select Enable Anti-Spam Service for this domain if you'd like messages for this domain to be passed through the spam filter. Both of these options are enabled by default. The next option allows you to place a limit on the number of active sync devices per user. Enter a zero in this blank if you'd like to use the global defaults, which you can find under the Active Sync Settings section of the Mobile Device Management screen located under the Setup menu. By using the drop-down menu shown here, you can specify whether public folders to which each of this domain's users has access are included in their folder list on ActiveSync devices. The options are Yes, No, and Inherit. When Inherit is selected, it will inherit the settings specified on the Public and Shared Folders screen under the Setup Server Settings menu. Now that we've gone over all domain settings, let's click on Apply and OK to save any changes made. Our new domain is now listed on the Domain Manager screen. From here, we can rename a domain as shown here. We can also make one of our domains the default domain by highlighting it and selecting this button. Click on Yes to confirm. And if we need to delete a domain, we simply highlight it and click on Delete Domain at the top. Be careful when deleting domains because all accounts, mailing lists, and public folders belonging to the selected domain will also be deleted. Click on Yes to confirm. Be sure to apply any changes made. When a domain is added in mdaemon, that domain is added to the domains.dat file located in the mdaemon app directory. Open this file with Notepad to view its contents. Here is the information for one of our domains with its domain-specific settings listed below. 
You should never need to manually update this file, but this will help you understand how mdaemon stores its settings. This concludes this overview of the Domain Manager.